Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are we doing today? Good evening. I'm elated to be here this evening. It's been a while. I've not been here with you, but I'm happy to be here. So please, thank you for joining. If you're just joining, just let me know. Say something. Say hi. And please don't forget to share. Ah, uh, I'm happy that we're here. I just want to invite one or two people to, to see if they can join us. If they can join us, we'll be very happy. We'll be very, very happy. And uh, we will be able to impact lives. So thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Please drop a comment. Say something. Say something, say something so that uh, we can continue to impact lives uh, like we've always done. You know, our goal, uh, or my goal is to impact life. So my name is Lillian Take. For those who don't know me, if you are joining me for the first time, my name is Lillian Take and this is my space, the Amber space, a space where we talk about everything that impacts women, health, um, education, um, everything everything women empowerment everything that in that uh, engulfs women so that's what i do on this space and i'm always open to invite uh, any other person who has something to say or who has something to share uh thank you so much thank you thank you for joining me thank you just drop your comments and continue to 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 share the, share the link share the link so that uh, somebody else can also join us so like I was saying, this is my space and this space is a free space where we come here to talk about women, everything that engulfs women. We are here to educate, to empower one another, ranging from health challenges to, to women empowerment, to whatever, whatever, maintaining our marriages, whatever societal demands and challenges, we are here to discuss about that. So, but today I'm going to talk about why women, we have to, I want us to examine our lives and see how, why we are not progressing. We are the force behind the society. We are the brain behind every successful home. Behind every successful man, there is a strong woman. We are the brain. We are the people who make the decisions. We are those who decide how things go because we have a cool head. We know, we think uh, right, we take our time to think, we take our time to work out something. If there is a challenge ahead of us, we take our cold mind, we look at the pros and the cons of uh, that situation before taking a decision. You know, so we are always there to support our men. We are there to give them the support they need. And uh, that is the reason why we need to be empowered. We need to be empowered. But there are so many of us who have just been, you know, we are just cons we are we, we are we are how can i say it we are comfortable with where we are we are comfortable with where we are but we can do better we can do better we are not supposed to be comfortable where we are when we have the intellectual power we have the know-how to exploit to get to greater heights so it doesn't make any sense for us to stay at the same position without doing anything so today i was just coming here to encourage one another I was coming here to encourage any woman who is going to be watching this video now or later on or every man who is going to be watching this video you have a sister you have a brother you have a sister you have a niece you have a mother you have a wife so i'm just trying to encourage all of us so that we can come together as a force and encourage one another so that we can do greater exploits thank you for joining please if you're joining just drop a comment and uh, share so that we can get as many people as possible so I was trying to say that I was trying to take us to, you know, sometimes we, we stick in our own ways, you know. Oh, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I cannot do this thing. And when you see somebody trying to do something, instead of trying to find out what that person is doing, you just stick in your own ways and you're like, no, I'm not going to do anything. No, we cannot. We cannot be living in yesterday. We should be living in the future. We should be living in tomorrow. The world has become, the world has evolved and it is constantly changing on a rapid, rapid race, you know. So there is nothing we can do. We cannot stay in yesterday. When we were born and when we were growing up, there was nothing like Facebook. There was nothing like the internet. We didn't know anything about the internet. 
television only met us when we were already growing. We had no clue. We knew nothing about social media. But because the times are changing and the world has become um, the world has become a global village through the social media, we have to adapt. We have to adapt to the changing times. You know, when the world becomes closer, people become closer together. And anything that you do, you do it on a wider scale. If you're doing business and you're using the social media, you're doing it on a wider scale because you are touching people from all the four corners of the world. Whereas in the olden days, you were just confined to your environment. You had, you had a store. And that store is the only place where people can come and buy and it will be restricted to those who are around there because people are not going to drive for miles or hours to come and buy from your shop. So today, uh, we have come to a place where... Um, Things are becoming easier. We can interact with one another. We can share our cultures. We can share ideas. And we can grow our businesses in any part of the world, wherever we are. So I'm just calling on us to look at the changes that are coming up. We should look at it. There is nothing. We cannot stop it. We cannot stop it. E-commerce is taking over the world. E-commerce is taking over the world. And you have to adapt to it if you have to change your position. Don't be comfortable in where you are. Most of us will go to our jobs, you know, maybe uh, 8 to 4 or 5 to 9. Or some of us will work 16 hours a day, 12 hours a day. We are contented with what we make from that job. It is true. What we make is able, is at least, is something that can enable us run our daily activities. It can enable us keep our lives together and keep our families intact. Sometimes it can also help us take care of our extended family but after a long stress, which means that you're working 16 hours, you don't have time to rest, you don't have time to eat, you don't have time to do anything. Granted, yes, you are still powerful now. You have the energy to go about doing all of these things. You have the know-how. You can run around. You can get up at 6 o'clock, you go to work and come back at 1 a.m. and sleep and get up at 6 o'clock and you're running 24-7 and you're doing it. But mind you, we are growing older. As we grow older, our body wears out. Thank you. Thank you, Aunt Phyllis, for joining me. Thank you. Just continue to share and drop your comments. So, as I was saying, I said the world has become a global village and e-commerce has taken over the world. Most of us are contented in where we are. We are contented in the environment where we are. We, we are reluctant to adapt to change. We want to stick to the old ways that we had and we don't think that anything new is making sense. Like I was saying, we are, we are bound to change because when we were born, we were growing up, there was no TV, there was no social media, there was no telephone, there was nothing. Today, everything is computerized. E-commerce is taking over the world. So if you want to be among those who are going to make it in the future, those who succeed are those who have taken, who have foreseen the future and are preparing today to, 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 to face the challenges of the future. Or they are preparing today to adapt themselves to the changes that are going to come into the future. So if you're only seated here and you're not doing anything, thank you, Anne Phyllis from Jamaica. You're welcome. Thank you. Continue to share. So if you're not doing anything to change your situation, if you just stick and you say, no, I'm staying where I am. You know, you see somebody on social media, you say, wow, what is so do for social media? What is she doing on social media? And that thing is for small children. Nobody ever said it was for small children. Social media is a place where people come together, communicate, share ideas, interact, and build a better future. It is true that some people come on social media to do things that are not useful. But that is it. You have a choice. You have a choice to come on social media and gossip. You have a choice to come on social media and talk about things that are not going to add a dollar in your pocket. And you also have a choice like me to come on social media and do the things that are going to swell your bank, your bank account, if not now, in the future. So we, are, we have a choice. We have to make a choice. And what is that choice? What is it that you want on planet Earth? What is it? Don't be contented in where, with what you have. Don't be contented where you are. You can do better. We have the intellectual capacity to do better. All we need to do is just one decision to change our mindset. We have to understand that today, in today's world, you have to get involved in e-commerce if you want to progress. You have to get involved in e-commerce. If you want to progress and you're a business person, you have to be able to adapt to the rules and regulations that are abiding e-commerce. So what do you want? 
what or what is it that is stopping you from adapting or from joining this fast running train the world is evolving you cannot be living in yesterday you cannot be living in yesterday you can live in today and live in tomorrow you can start preparing tomorrow today because you have foreseen where the world is going to we are joining we are joining the train we are in the e-commerce everything has become computerized everything has become uh, compressed and the village has been the, the world has become a global village you know so why is it so when you start talking about somebody i come and sit here i'm talking about something that is going to add money into my account i'm going to talk i'm talking about something that is going to swell my account that is my choice that is my option that's what i chose to do to come on social media and talk about something that is going to benefit me i'm not going to come here to gossip i'm not going to come here to talk about things that don't matter i'm going to come here that is my choice to talk about the things that are going to swell my account and i'm also talking to anybody who is sitting out there who also has an idea or who is also thinking of coming out to do something that is going to benefit them in future let us just join the race because the race is for the swift you know especially now that everything is going e-commerce you cannot sit there and be thinking that you still want to go and open your traditional shop how many people are you going to sell to how many people are you going to talk to so and those of us who came from africa we have something that we always say that when you talk about uh, network marketing they say oh that's it that's it when you go bring one man add one man bring one man and not demi day what is network marketing have you ever bothered to understand the concept of network marketing we network on a daily basis there is no day in our lives that we don't network network is simply going out to meet people and share business opportunities that is it that's networking going out there meeting people and sharing business opportunities probably the name networking makes you think that it is something extraordinary no it is just about meeting people and sharing a business opportunity and the only way you can grow your business is to share a business share your ideas share your business uh, 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 ideas so many ideas have gone into the graves so many ideas are in the graves they were never realized because the people who had these formidable ideas were even scared to come out to share these ideas they were our afraid to come out and talk about these wonderful ideas that they have gotten you know some of them did not even see how they could stand in those days where you did not have the 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 forum to do it it was understood but today you have the forum be you come up with what you have you have something in you that can impact the life thank you adeline for joining thank you so much thank you continue to uh share and drop your comments so like i was saying i said when you come up today like most of us i'm sitting here because i want to i'm sharing an idea i'm impacting lives with something that i have inside me if i didn't come here to talk about what i have nobody's going to know that i have those ideas i'm going to die with them whereas i'll be impacting by just so doing i could be impacting one just one life one in the world just one and if i'm impacting one life in the world i am so so pleased because that impact to me is very great because if we can go out and just try in our little way to impact just a life the world is going to be a better place so that's what i'm doing at least i'm not keeping my ideas to me i'm coming on social media i'm talking about them i'm encouraging anybody who has also ideas to share to also come out and share those ideas so when you talk about we are looking at where the world is evolving to where is the world going to what do we expect how are we going to prepare for the future what are the expectations of tomorrow thank you my dear thank you thank you what are the expectations of tomorrow if we don't start looking at that and preparing today we are going to be surprised by what is going to happen tomorrow and we are bound to be a failure but when we already foresee the future and we start preparing today to come into the future and just flow in into the future we are going to be a success the world is gradually becoming digital there will come a time in the next two three years where everything will be digital everything will be done online all businesses will be e-commerce there will be no opportunity for you to go into a store and go and stand there that you're buying something and you who is who is stuck with your traditional ideas of doing the traditional business you are going to be left out and people will be progressing and you're going to stay at the same spot so if you have an idea if you have a dream if you think of doing a business on a global level of expanding your that is your business 
on all the continents in the world. This is the social media. It is a place for you to come out and do that. So you come out and do the networking. Networking is simply meeting people and sharing business ideas. That is something that we do on a daily basis. Oh, Ambo, who did your hair? Oh, you call the name of the saloon. The person goes there. She does her hair. The, the, the lady who did that hair, the saloon, saloonist or the beautician who is going to do that hair, is going to make money. But there is no system put in place for that person to compensate you for recommending that person. Where well, I went and ate in a nice restaurant, you invite four or five of your, your, your friends there. Why are you inviting them? Because the food is nice. You invited them there. And they went there and they ate. That person made money from that single action that you did. But there is no system put in place to compensate you for that action that you do. The modern world, the people who know how to manage things came out with a system and put it in place with the support of this um, uh, technology, with the support of advanced technology. They put something in place that when you just recommend something to somebody, the company compensates you beautifully for just telling somebody about an opportunity, for just telling somebody about products that have helped you and you also want to help them. That is all about networking. Networking is not anything about poor am I here, poor am I here, drunk here, drunk. That is just a system that is put in place so that they can recognize and identify who actually did that job in what part of the world and be compensated. Even if you are in Bomi, in my village, you'll be compensated there. So it's just a system. But networking is simply going out, talking to people, sharing business ideas, and we all grow. And we all grow. So why are we? Why is it so difficult for us to understand what makes it so easy to recommend a restaurant? What makes it so easy to recommend a dress, uh, a hairdresser? What makes it so easy to recommend a shop where you bought a dress? And what makes it so difficult for you to recommend health products that are going to help you, that are going to help to restore or stabilize your health? so that you can grow all gracefully, so that you can be able to work, you can have the strength and the energy to go out there and do the things that you're supposed to do and meet up with all the challenges that you have in front of you. What is it? Is the fear. First is misunderstanding. We just have to understand that networking is the simplest thing that you can do. You can just tell people, I sit here in the comfort of my home, here like I'm sitting here like that. I don't need to go anywhere. I am talking and that's how I work. I talk to people in all over the world. I have business partners all over the world. And we work together and everybody is being paid. Some of them, I don't know them. I have never met them in person. But we have worked, we have connected through technology. We have connected through uh, 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 Facebook. You know, we are able to get to one another. We are able to meet and partner with people who share the same ideas like us, who also want to grow their business and become very successful because there is nothing like growing a business in the whole world. It means that everybody in the world has an opportunity to share what you got to offer. That is what you're going to offer. You don't have to be ashamed of what you're offering. If you know the worth of what you're offering, if you have good products and you're offering those good products, you know that the products do work. You know that they affect our lives. They really help. They impact lives. They help people with health challenges. You are suffering from all headache, uh, dizziness, uh, gastrointestinal problem, constipation, high blood pressure, diabetes, diabetic wounds, cancer, uh, uh, kidney problem. Just name them. Name them. And we have products that can help you. Weight, overweight. You are suffering from weight. And, and we have products that can help you. And we come here. And to tell you that, wait, I don't know what your issue is. I don't even know in what part of the world you are. But if you're listening to me and you have a health challenge, there is something. I know something that a renowned scientist has gone out to do research over 20 years with a crew of 86,000 workers. And he came out with a wonderful discovery that can help you with your health challenges using natural organic plant-based products. I am opportune to know it. I am sharing that opportunity to the world. Hold on. 
Are you having a health challenge? Are you having problems? Are you dizzy? Are you having high blood pressure? Are you having constipation? Are you having problems with sleeping at night? Are you having, are you going to the toilet so often? Do you pee? Are you having constipation? Do you have a child who is peeing on the bed even at the age of 10? Do you have a child who is slow to speak? My dear, we have something that is natural, that is organic, that can help rebuild your system. It can feed your system, reactivate your system so that your system in its natural form can start functioning the way it is supposed to function, the way God designed it to be. And I am here just to share that opportunity. That's what I'm sharing. It's as simple as that. So if you are related or you are connected or you are having a health issue or you're having a health concern or you know a loved one who is having a health concern or a relative, a sister, a daughter, a husband, a brother who is having a health challenge and you heard me talking, all you need to do is to tell that person, I got, I met this lady on Facebook and this lady was talking about some health products that can help you restore your, uh, restore your health. And these products have been in the market for nine years and it has helped millions and millions of people restore their lives. I heard about it. I don't know how effective is it, but we can contact her. We can contact her on Facebook. We can get to her and she'll be able to help us through this process. That's all you're going to do. That's all. That is all you're doing. Networking. Meeting people you know. Tell them about an opportunity that can help them. A business opportunity that can help them. That regardless of the fact that this product is helping you, there is a platform put in place. That platform put in place is there to help you. That platform put in place is there to motivate you. It is there to pay you for every single action that you do. But some people will say, I don't know me how to network. What don't you, what are you networking? Network is what? Telling, meeting people and telling them about a business opportunity. That is it. It's simple as that. It is not different from you recommending your, your stylist to somebody. It's not different from you recommending your restaurant, good restaurant to somebody. It's not, you, it's not different from you rest, uh, recommending where to get a good dress for, for somebody. It's the same thing. The difference is that we have a system that is put in place that can recognize that you are the person who did that recommendation and you are compensated for doing it simple. I use my mouth, I recommend, I make money. I am not there to fabricate the products. I don't carry products with me. I don't have any products in my house. I'm not keeping them in my house. I know that these products work. I have taken mine. I have seen results on me. All I'm doing is I tell somebody about it. If the person wants it, the person is going to order it from the company. But the company has a system in place. Who told you about this product? Ambo told me about this product. Ambo is compensated in her house. She didn't carry products. She didn't do nothing. She didn't move from her house. We, something that can help you rebuild your system. What are you looking for? You have a health challenge. Something that can give you back your health. Something that can give you your energy, your strength. Rebuild all your dead cells in your system. Something that has helped thousands of people. Those who are having difficulties having children. The products have helped them. Those who are having difficulties uh, breathing. The products have helped them. Those who are having difficulties with maybe urinating or using the toilet, the products have helped them. Those who are having problems with their eyes, they cannot see, the products have given them hope back. Those who are having difficulties with talking, some of them are even sitting on the bed and they're unable to walk, the products have helped them. Some of them have these um, diabetic wounds and have been programmed for amputation. These products have come and given you back your leg and given you back health. The testimonies are everywhere. They are glaring. The products speak for themselves. What is it? What is, what is it that people are scared of network marketing? Network marketing? Is it the name? Multi-level marketing? It is multi-networking means going out, meeting people. Marketing is telling them about a business opportunity. That is it. And when you tell them the company and they, they buy, the company compensates you. What is it about network marketing that people say, I don't know me how to do network marketing. You don't also know how to use your mouth. That is the fastest growing industry in the world today. Whether you like it or not, it's the highest paid industry in the world. The money that you're going to make in this industry, come three, four, five years down the lane, you will not make it working all your life and put all the money together. You're not going to make it. 
It is just a simple because the system that has been put in place has been so meticulously put in place that you can even earn money while you are sleeping and you do not do anything. Simply because you have built a foundation. You have built a business for yourself. So are you thinking about the days when you don't have that strength to get up at 6 o'clock, go to work and come back at 12 midnight at 1 a.m. in your house? Are you thinking of those days? Because there's going to be a time, whether you like it or not, as you age, you cannot continue working the way you are working. There will be a time when you cannot even sit up from your bed and you are so tired and exhausted and you don't feel like going to work. How are you going to meet your bills? How are you going to live? America is not going to tell you that, oh my dear, because uh, you have been working, we are going to give you money that is going to pay. They are going to calculate what is your due and that's what they are going to pay you. They don't know what your bills are. They don't know. But you need to still get, you get to still pay the bills. You have a house, you're going to pay a mortgage. If you don't have a house, you're renting an apartment, you have to pay the rents. You have to pay the bills. You need to eat. You need to take care of your car. Pay your car loan. Take care of your children, whether you are working or you are not working. So can we think of, can we just think of a time to sit down and maybe listen to this opportunity because it could be something that can change your life. If it has changed my life, it has changed thousands of women who come to Facebook to talk about this system. They're not talking about my business. There are different, different systems put in place. And everybody, they are telling you, the richest people in the world, follow them. Go out, just, just Google them and follow them. Hear what they are telling you. All of them are networkers. Because there is no way you can make money like you're doing it in networking. Because 1% of 1,000 people's efforts put together will give you $1,000 an hour. Or a minute, or a minute, a thousand dollars a minute. You will never work one thousand dollars a minute or an hour in America. You, I don't care what you do, you will not. You will not. So, are you thinking of building that business now that you are still healthy and you are still strong? So that the days when you cannot go out there, the days when you cannot work, eh? the days when you don't have the energy to do anything. You will be able to just sit and relax. And then you get up in the money, there is money in your account. When you hear that people make $60,000 in a month, you think that is a dream. It is not a dream. It is a reality. These people have taken time to put a system. Just what are you doing? Putting a system in place is what? Looking for like-minded people. People who are thinking like you. Who probably have no idea about what net marketing is all about. But who think that they want to develop and they want to move from where they are and they want to live a better life without stressing. That is all you're going, that's the network you're building. You are looking for like-minded people. People who want to evolve. People who want to grow at every given opportunity. People who are not contented with where they are. People who want to put in everything to learn because it is the highest paid industry in the world. It is a VIP business. It is a profession and a profession of professions. Networking. A multi-level marketing. In the United States of America, you have doctors, you have uh, attorney generals, you have people of all classes who have abandoned their jobs for a multi-level marketing industry because they have seen the worth. It gives you everything you need. It gives you time for yourself, which is something that those of us who are in the diaspora don't have. If we have to work the way we are working to meet up with our bills, we don't have time. Some of us barely get four hours a, a day to even to eat, prepare something, eat and sleep four hours a day. Time is something that we don't have here. But this business, this platform gives you time. Job satisfaction, because you work, you strategize on your own. It is your business. You own your business. You decide how you're going to grow the business. You strategize on building the business. And you do things the way you want to do them. You come up with your ideas and you exploit your mind. You drop your memory and you find solutions to a problem that you need to resolve. That's all you are doing. But when you're working for somebody, that is somebody else's dream. That is somebody else's dream that you are trying to realize. You are helping that person to realize their dream. And believe you me, no matter how much energy you put in that job, it is not appreciated. There is a query letter that will come if you come five minutes late. There is something that is going to be uh, something that is going to be quarreling. Oh, you didn't do this one right. You came late. Why did you? You are building somebody else's dream. Exploiting. That is exploit. I call it exploitation. And until you understand that you are being exploited from your power 
from your intellectual capacity, then can you understand that you have to work for yourself. But if you don't understand it, and you just think that, no, I'm working for a paycheck, you have been exploited. It's indirect slavery, working for people to build their own businesses, whereas you can build your own business, whereas you can use that energy, those 16 hours that you put in building somebody's business. If you put 16 hours on this platform, I'm telling you that you will be baffled by the results that you get, and you will be satisfied. You will have job satisfaction. You will go home and buy a beer and drink. You will sit up and one day you will see you will see the company celebrating you. They celebrated me a few days ago. $7,000 entered my account. I was not just sleeping. I was not sleeping. I was walking. I come here and I talk. And people think that I just come here and I just waste my time. I, I'm talking. And I'm talking to people. There are people in the world who share my ideas. There are people in the world who foresee the possibility of making money on this platform. Money that cannot be measured in any terms. There are people in the world who see it. There are people who don't have any idea about network marketing, but they have a dream. They have a goal. The dream is they want to grow bigger. They want to make more money. They want to work at, the comfort, at their own pace. They want to own their own business. They don't know how to go about it. You join this platform. We have the tools. We will train you. I have never been a networker myself. I was one of those people who used to say, I beg, cut down that thing, network now, wait to go with them. Because I had no understanding. I had no understanding. The Bible says my people die for lack of knowledge. I had no understanding. Now I get the understanding because I have gone myself to school. I schooled myself through the process and I'm still schooling myself through the process. I am actually doing a master's program on multi-level marketing with wonderful success. Women who make six figures every month. So they are making seven figures and they are training you on how to build your own business. They are training you on the simple things that you and I do on everyday basis and we don't even know that that is money that we are throwing in the bush. Now I'm trying to see how I can educate some. Somebody will be listening to me somewhere. Somebody's going to listen to this video somewhere. That's what, That's how it works. And somebody's going to call me and tell me that, please, I have never done networking like I had never done before. But today I understand. Can you teach me how to do it? You, all you need is a frame of mind. All you need is your mindset. Your mindset plays the magic. That's what is it. Judy, thank you for joining me. Thank you for following. Gillian, thank you so much for following. Thank you. Thank you for encouraging me. I'm very elated. Thank you. So the mindset, your mindset is what plays the magic. Your mindset. Your mind. If your mindset is not set for positivity, there is nothing anybody can do. But the moment you set your mind to it, you will be amazed at the capacity of achievements that you can achieve. You will sit there and you will think that you, you are dreaming. I am doing this, still doing this job. I am still doing this job as part-time because I'm still building my network. I'm still building my industry. I'm still taking it to where I want to be. I'm still doing it part-time. I still struggle to cash time. I have so many things that I'm doing. I still cash time to do it. Yet, I can still make that kind of money. Yet, I can still make that kind of money. What are you looking for? Do you need... You, go, you, wear, you wear a coat and go into your office for a white-collar job. It is just a name. You are a poor man, the rich man. Have you ever read uh, the rich that poor dad? If you sit... Even if you are the... Professor, even if you are the CEO of that company, you are a poor man. If you are not a shareholder of that company, you are poor. You are poor because let me tell you, a salary, salary job will never give you financial independence. It will not. There is no way it will. It will. It doesn't matter if you work 24 hours around the clock. The person who owns the company will never be satisfied with what you have done. The next thing is they will, when they want to terminate you, they don't even think about what you're doing because there are thousands of people out there with your qualification looking for that same job that you are having. So that they don't even value your talents. They don't even value your talent because we have not been taught to, we have not been taught financial uh, 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 education how to create wealth for ourselves. So the employers, I'm talking from, I come from Cameroon. I've been a lawyer in Cameroon for over 15 years before leaving. I'm talking with a background knowledge of so much. You see somebody with a master's degree going to work in a company and they're paying that person $100,000. 100,000 francs, sorry. 
What can 100,000 francs? You, that is, your intellectual capacity has been abused to a level where there is nothing. And I'm telling you that you and they are draining your intellectual capacity. They are draining you intellectually. And you are there sitting there and you are running to work. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. With a master's degree, I earn 100,000. What can you do with in my company? I'm talking about those who know what I'm talking about. Just one referral. One. One referral. Referral. We give you at least in Cameroon 250,000. One referral. One. And you are there running 24-7 to work and back. Running to work and back. Running to work and back. Working for somebody. Dying for somebody. There is a story that one of my, 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 my leaders used to say. That one day she was crossing the bridge. And she saw somebody with a coat on, on a Benzikin. And they had an accident. A truck hit them on the Bonaberry Bridge. That man was down. His leg was broken. He was all crying. Oh, oh, call my patron. Tell my boss. This is a key to the office. Tell my patron that I have an accident. Let me tell you. You have an accident and you die. Believe you me. You are being replaced the next day. And that company is going to continue to function. It tells you that you are not indispensable. You are not even valued. Your, your, your know-how is not valued. What you have is not valued. So what is it? What is it that stops you? you network marketing, multi-level marketing is a VIP business. I want people to read about this industry. Because there was a time, from because of where we come from, there was a time I also taught that uh, I beg on a car on a thing go. They were doing buy and sell, and people would buy things from here, carry carry luggages, carry things, and come here. I'm doing network marketing, and they're selling their business. That is non that that is retailing. That is non network marketing. Network marketing is a professional business where you sit at the comfort of your home. You do recommendation. That is promotion. You promote a business. You do promotion. You promote products that are worth the while. And when somebody is in need of those products, the company compensates you heavily. The company compensates you handsomely. The money that the company is going to compensate you, how much are you going to make in, in, in where? As a lawyer, as a professor, as what? I have been a lawyer in Cameroon and I'm still yet because I'm not there, but I'm still. Because my chamber is still functioning, everything is functioning. How much do you make? Hmm? It's a, this... This is a profession that you don't compare with anything. I just want people to understand the intrigues behind this profession. Just understand it. It is not a profession for the poor. If you want poor people in your business line, it means that your intellectual capacity is reduced and that's where you're going to be. You determine who enters your team. You create a team for yourself. Everybody in that team grows. All of you grow. The day that you have an accident on the Bonaberry Bridge and you cannot walk, you get up in the morning, you see a $1,000 in your account. Are you not going to be proud? The day that you cannot go anywhere or the day that you are not there and your children leave, you leave a legacy for your children and your children get up in the morning, they see a $1,000 in their account from something that their mother left for them. What, what can, can, what, after your job, they say they'll pay you, they call it your consultancy, pension. How much do they pay for pension? People go on retirement 10 years after they have not received pension. They go to Yaoundé and die on the line. So what becomes of your children? This is an opportunity to build a legacy. An empire for you and your children. That is handed over from generation to generation. That is why you come here, you see children. You see the amount of wealth that their parents and their grandparents left for them in, in the bank account is unimaginable. And you don't believe, you don't know how, because they know financial freedom. They get into a business that creates wealth for them. And they train their children to create wealth for themselves. In America, when you graduate from high school, I'm telling you that 80% of the population is thinking about how to create their own business and create wealth. High school here is celebrated like a PhD in Cameroon. They teach them how to create wealth. They teach them how to create wealth. Yes, Cynthia, thank you for joining. Thank you so much for joining. Your comments will be highly appreciated. So what is that thing? There are people who I told you, they are professors. They, they, they are attorney generals, commissioners. Here, lawyers who have abandoned their profession for multi-level marketing. Because they understand what it is. 
they understand the intrigues of that multi-level marketing. But we don't get it. Uh, that is where they go bring one man can put a fair worker carry cargo. Don't that is retailing. When you do professional network marketing, my dear, you will be amazed. You are mean you are doing promotion, you are promoting a product. Do you know what it means to promote? You don't have any product, the highest you can have is a sample, and that sample you bought. Nobody gave you the sample, you bought that sample, you're promoting it. Somebody likes your product, they order theirs from the company, the company supplies them. But there is a system in place that recognizes who recommended them. That's network marketing. Go out, meet people, promote a product, the people get their product, and you get compensated for promoting. Whereas we do it every day. I bet come and go show you do my hair. You go and do your hair. No five hundred, no pay you. No system is in place. You buy your clothes, so I can't go for the shop. You go buy, they don't pay you five francs. No system, no different places they put up. You come for Facebook, can't story, 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 laugh. You go, yes, it's fine. You didn't entertain people. Someone said better, so you can't entertain people. When you start getting followers plenty, Facebook will pay you. Because that's how they make their money. So a platform for us to make money. Prepare your retirement. Prepare for the rainy days. There is a day not even old. You feel even broke your food, you feel getting an accident. Well, you know if you come off a house, you know if you go work. You go work, go for America, so 24-7. Well, you go there, they cost you, carry you. Come here, carry shit, clean the place, do the one. Yes, we make and get money. The day where you don't get food, where you can go to job and do that, what do you do? You sit in the comfort of your home. Money comes. You think that job, you think that that person that you're taking care of is not going to be taking care of. Somebody else is sent there and that person is taking care of. The day you die, the story ends. Nobody cares about your children. You think the company is going to pay, pay your children because you were working... It doesn't work. Can we start thinking about how we can start building an empire for our children and leaving a legacy for our children's children on a platform that does not require you to do much? All you need to do, go out there, meet people, recommend, tell them about your products. Give them the opportunity. Educate them for free. You are a counselor. You are advising. You are educating them. You are counseling. You are telling them that there is an alternative treatment. For all our health diseases. You are telling them that the products that we take, the medications that we take on a daily basis have chemicals. And they have side effects that are clearly spelled out on the packages. Yesterday I was listening to the television and curiously enough I've been hearing this uh, advert, advert, advertisement that has been going on on TV for so long. But I never paid attention to it. And yesterday in the evening for some reason I was paying attention to it. And what is this product? I don't even remember the name of the product. It's a medication. But you know what that medication does? It helps you. When you are on this medication, you cannot get HIV. <laughs> when you are on this medication, it doesn't prevent any other kind of venereal disease, but it prevents you from getting or contacting HIV. Do you know the side effects of that medication? Heart attack, kidney problem, liver problem. They are saying it on TV. It's not like they are saying it every day on TV and they're advertising the product. That was just one that I, yesterday caught my attention. What are the side effects? Kidney problem. Heart attack. Liver problem. So you have to go for checkup every three months if you're taking these medications to make sure that all your organs are intact or all they know what to do. Is it worth the trouble that you're taking medications, not, you are not sick. You are taking medications to prevent an illness. But that medication is going in to create three, four other serious illnesses in your system. Does, does it make any sense to anybody? To me, it doesn't make sense. I, I heard about it yesterday that was so heartbroken. And I'm like, is this for real? Is this for real? I was looking at my high blood medication product they used to give me. And I was supposed to be taking it for the rest of my life. As per my doctor. And I was reading it. Do you know the side effects of those medications? And, and why is it always going? It's either kidney problem. Uh, it's liver problem. Why is it always going there? Because the chemicals go to destroy the liver. Because that is where it's always going. And that is it. And I'm supposed to be taking those high blood medications for the rest of my life. Soon, 
when the medications go and attack your liver or your kidney, they add medicine for kidney problem. The one for kidney problem will cause heart attack. So one time they give you medicine for toxin, may your blood begin flow normally. May at the end of the day, you start taking 25 tablets a day. You become you become a vessel for medication. Your your food, if chemicals, and the more chemicals you take, the more your system is vulnerable to all the diseases that are coming up. Just go out there and read any medication that you're taking. World Health Organization tells me that 95% of the world's population is sick and on medication. That's the report from World Health Organization. 95% are on medication. And out of that 95, 20% has been attained with serious diseases. So can you just go home and think, look at the medication that you're taking? Look at the side effects of those medications that you're taking. Believe you me, you, you might be afraid to put a tablet in your system. Have you ever seen somebody who has had an allergy to medication? When I was growing up, when I was in the university, one of my classmates had an allergy. She, that my classmate took. They gave him, he was sick, and they gave him quinima. Was it uh, nivaquin? Was it niv nivaquin? And that was the first time that I saw the after effects of medication. It didn't even make too much sense to me, but I saw it. That my classmate got burnt from his head to his toe. Burnt. Black. Onto the pillow. He got burnt. He almost died. Side effects of medication. Are we, and we are telling you that they themselves, they know it. They do try and error. That's why when you come, they take this one this week. It doesn't work. They change it. And give you, they, they did diagnostic treatment. That's what they were taught in school. And that's what they do. Diagnostic treatment. They know that if you come and complain that this my my jaw or this my place is paining. It's a possibility that it could be this. And there are possible medications that they can give you to solve that problem. It is not certainty. There are probabilities. And they keep changing. And when the complications are, they change. Then you soon find yourself driving to the hospital for the first time to consult. Two years after somebody else is driving you. Four years after you're on a wheelchair. How can you be going for treatment instead of getting better, you're getting worse? Does it make any sense? Because the medications that you're taking are chemicals. The chemicals go in to destroy your system. Destroy your cells and, and set a pace for all kinds of illnesses to come in. Cancer will come. Everything will come. And today they tell you that 95% of the world's population is sick and on medication. And you know what they say about cancer? Regardless of all the efforts that they have been putting to do research on cancer and all the money that has been embedded, buried in the research against cancer, you know what World Health Organization says? World Health Organization says that at least 50% of the world's population will be attained with cancer at one point or the other. Please just go and read their statistics that I'm giving you. Read it. Today the world is open. You Google. You have all this information anywhere. I'm not telling you anything that is fabricated. So, 50% of the world's population is going to be attained with cancer at one point in their life or the other. It's to tell you that they know that there are shortcomings. And other scientists too have gone out to start looking at what they can do to help mankind solve these health challenges without the use of chemicals. And they went back into the natural, what our parents used to give us. And they came and told us that no, our African products are not good because we take it directly from the tree. We don't have a measurement. There is no quantification. You just take. You don't know what quantity is good for you. And because our parents would just boil the leaf and boil the candlestick and put it in a cup and give it to drink. They wash you with it, give it to drink, you drink, you get well. They tell us that no, you need to quantify it. You cannot just take it like that. There is no dosage. We will take it and go and prepare it and then bring it back to you and give you in dosage. They go there, they add, it, add chemicals to it and they bring it back and sell it to us at very expensive rates. We take it and drink and we cause more problems into our system. Now they realize they are going back into the natural. They are going back to find out if there is not something in the natural that can help mankind solve all of these health challenges. 95% of the world's population sick and on medication means that something urgent has to be done. If you are going out there, you feel dizzy, you think you're fine, you're not fine, your cells are wanting somewhere. If you get up, you're having congestion in your pain, there is something. 
constipation, something, putting on alarming weight, there is a problem. Constant headache, there is a problem. Heaviness in your head, there is a problem. It means that something is not going right. You frequent urination, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Perspiration, always feeling heat, something is wrong. We always look at those small, small things. Those are signs and symptoms. The body is talking. That something is wrong. We think that it's okay. We'll just take that and not drink and we're going about our daily activities. When you want to educate it, they say, no, I'm fine. I'm not sick. I don't need the medication. You need it. Why are you taking Tylenol? Why are you taking Tylenol? And Tylenol is what? Chemicals. Today, those scientists who have gone out amongst the renowned scientists, who is Dr. Fred Zuli, who has a laboratory that has been in existence for over 20 years with a crew of 86,000 workers have been working relentlessly in the natural to find out if there is something that can help mankind. To find out if there is a way that they can use natural organic plant based to treat mankind and stop us putting chemicals in our system. And he found out that there are five species of plants, five, five species of plants that have the same stem cells like the human stem cells that if consumed can reactivate 80% of our own stem cells and permit them to function the way they're supposed to function. And if our stem cells are functioning, it means that they have the capacity to reproduce and replicate all the other cells of all the organs of the system and we are going to be functioning at 100%. We have to be looking good we have thank you gillian thank you so much thank you we have to, that's my learned colleague thank you learned colleagues have an open mind they're always prepared to learn and that is what i'm trying to do helping those who don't think that they can learn to think that learning is good and that if you have an opportunity to learn open your brain learn go and do the research after this and you're going to find out and we are saying dr fez really found out that these five species of plants in their natural organic form without any side effect that anybody can take even a child who is born today can take a pregnant woman can take a woman of 90 years or a father of nine can take anybody can take in their organic natural form can go in as nutrition to feed your system reactivate your stem cells so that they can start functioning the way they were functioning when you were 25. can you remember how agile you were when you were 25 years old how powerful you were. Can you do one-tenth of the things that you were doing? It is because your stem cells were still, still intact. But when you get to the age of 30, that is science. When you get to the age of 35, your stem cells, you have lost 25% of the stem cells, which is that organ that has the ability to rebuild and replicate all the cells of your body. Some cells barely have six days. They have to be replaced every six days. So if that repair mechanism in the body is not functional that cell is dead that organ is dead you start feeling pain you start feeling dizzy constipation headache eye problem nerves back pain leg pain uh, heaviness in the head you don't see well and you don't understand what is happening to you and you don't understand what is happening to you and you think and you take that and you think you're fine you're not fine dr fred sudi and his crew are telling us today that we could go back into the natural. We can take this natural organic plant-based product. We can feed our repair mechanism in the body. God prepared the body so well, meticulously. There is a repair mechanism that repairs the body itself without you doing anything. But when they die, because of also the natural circumstance, the, the natural way is that the stem cells will die. Now, your style of living, the food you eat, the gadgets, the chemicals, the sugar that you take on a daily basis, the medication that you take on it, all of them go to destroy the system. Even these gadgets that we are using on a daily basis, the rays are not good for us. They go to destroy the system. The air is polluted, industrialization. The water that you drink, they use chemicals to purify it. The food that you eat, they use chemicals to grow and preserve them, to bring them to the market so that we, you and I can buy the, the food we are just eating, they don't have any nutrients because the chemicals have destroyed all the nutrients. And because of all of that, instead of us losing just 25% of our stem cell, which is the repair mechanism, we are losing 80 to 85% after the age of 35. Reason why after the age of 35, we fall down, we die, we are sick, we have all kinds of diseases. Today, the life expectancy is 50. Tell me, 
as you're going now how many of your friends have just died like that when we're growing when we're young when you hear that somebody that a person was 70 the person was 80 the person was 90 you don't hear that a young person died today because of our lifestyle drinking smoking alcohol the air itself the food that we do fast food now we eat everything it goes to destroy our system you think the doctor cares so much about you more than you care for yourself then you love yourself more than anybody yourself your body your body is an embodiment of everything that you own in this world because that's the only thing that you're going to go back with every other thing that you have you're going to leave it here the only thing you're going to carry with you is this body this body that takes you out there to do whatever thing you're supposed to do this body that helps you to go out and do the job that you're supposed to do you have to take care of that body that car that drives you when your engine needs repair you go and repair the engine oil don't finish you go change oil your tire don't bust, you go change tire. You need to buy a new engine, you go buy a new engine, put them. You need to wash the motor every day. You are maintaining that car so that that car can live long, so that the car can take you to wherever you're going. That is the same thing you have to do with your body. Because the engine of your body, which is your heart, the mechanism that is in your body is working 24-7. You need to feed it. You need to maintain it. You need to take care of it. Whether you want it or not, take care of it if you want to be happy. Take care of it and if you take care of it it is going to be showing on your body thank you for all the loves if you it will show it will show it's showing on me it's showing on me i am looking 10 years younger than my age those who knew me 10 years ago they are, they cannot believe it i'm looking 10 years younger than my age yes it's showing on your body it gives you it gives you back your natural glow you 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 come back to who you are normally supposed to be and all we are saying is that we have these products, they are available. Just find out about them. Take care of your health. Invest in your health. If you don't have health, you don't have anything. Work all the money that you think of. Keep it in the bank. The day that you sleep on that bed and you cannot get up, that money becomes useless. All that start fighting for it. But if you can take care of your health, feed your system. Just like you are repairing your car, repair your system on a daily basis. Keep it active flush out all the chemicals from your system because when the alkalinity in your system is in a normal state cancer cannot survive sickness cannot survive it cannot so thank you cynthia thank you so much so take care of your system take care what can you take care of your system it is difficult but it's something that you need to sit down and study and understand that whether we like it or not science is evolving Science is evolving. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It says so true. We are spending our money to put things in our body. That is no good for us. That is true. Because sometimes we use body to buy sicknesses on us. Oh, fast food, McDonald's, we did it. Uh, ice cream, them, we buy yam. Uh, soda. In just one container of soda like that. Do you know? So sweet and so palatable. The things are sweet. If you want to follow them, you will drink. You can drink that one and a half liter in one sitting. My dear, you are killing yourself. You cannot understand it. So take time to love yourself. Take care of yourself. Live happily. Live happily. Live retirement. I'm saying, we are not saying that you're going to live forever. That's not what I'm saying. But we're saying that when you live happily, until, let me tell you, my father, my father, the person who gave birth to my father, my father died at the age of 102. 102 was the age that my father died. My father, the things that he could do, I could not do. When I went home and I was going somewhere, I have to run after him. He is walking. I am running to meet him. My father lived for 100 years. He will help my mother break firewood every day. And he did everything for himself, powerful, strong. And the day that he was supposed to die, he got up, he went around his compound, and he went around singing, Papa, put me down. Papa, I don't tire. I don't carry my heavy cargo away. Papa, God, oh, put me down. He sang the whole of that evening, went around his estate. And he was singing. Nobody understood what he was doing. He sang. 
sang 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 and he slept in the night and that was it the man went to rest he went to meet his ancestors is that not wonderful that's what we are talking about live healthy so that when the time comes for you to go you go in peace we don't want you we, we are saying that we are trying to prevent a situation where you are 30 years on the bed where they have to carry you give you a shower carry you put you for a year carry you you don't have the ability to do anything for yourself you are relying on others to do it for you can you imagine how painful that is you are not only putting yourself in problem but everybody around you is stressed out because they have to take care of you so we are just saying that we can try in our own way to try to take care of ourselves so that we grow healthy as we grow older we grow healthy as we grow older we grow healthy and until when it is our time to go to meet our lord we go in peace that's what we are saying because the difference between you and i and that person who is sleeping on the hospital bed is a matter of time if we don't do something about our health Somebody gets up from bed and they say, bang, heart attack. It doesn't, they say the first sign of a heart attack is heart attack. It doesn't give you any warning, it doesn't give, But you think that that heart attack that you had just started on that day? No. The cells had been dead a long time ago. The cells that are pumping blood into the heart or are feeding the, the heart have been dead a long time ago. And that organ is not functioning. It could even take five years for it to get to a worse stage. And you don't know about it, so you're not going to go to a doctor to complain because you don't have any pain. And the day it strikes, bang, you get a heart attack. They say that's the first sign of it. It's true, but it has been there. But if you can just, because the scientists have still gone out, even the medications we are taking is scientists. They have gone out, out of there, they're working for us. We are talking about something that has been scientifically researched and proven. We are talking about something that this company has put down a million dollars to take care of anybody who takes our cover, anybody who takes our products and think that the products have affected them one way or the other. But our company has been doing that for nine years and we have had positive results from all over the world. We have touched so many lives. What am I talking about? Diabetic wounds, we have healed. What well, I don't want to call names. We I am sitting here a living example. I have gone for nine months without taking high blood medication. When I was on two kinds of blood, high blood medication and I was told I was going to take it for the rest of my life. And yet I would still go to the hospital, to the ER, even though I was on those medications. But I've gone for nine months without taking a tablet. And I have the best reason I can ever think of. Take care of your health. I know that there are so many naysayers out there. Sorry. Read. Open your mind. Read. We came to the world individually. We did not come with people. We came onto this planet Earth individually. Edna, at 30, you are carried around so painful. For how long will this go on? I'm telling you, my sister, that's what I'm talking about. And we have, we have to make sure, we have to make sure that we take care of our health. If you don't know about it, it's okay. But if you know about it and you close your mind to it, that's where there is a problem. Don't just jump into it. Read. Find out. Read about cells. Read about their books. They are scientists. They have sent out so many books. I have them in my house full. There are so many books written by so many renowned scientists. Find out. Find out about what I'm talking about. And you know that you can deliberately take care of yourself. And the difference is going to be clear. If you see the people who take care of themselves at the age of 70 and you look at their counterparts at 70 who are not taking anything, you are going to see that the other ones are on wheelchair, they are on oxygen, they are, they are putting oxygen every day, on their, they are on oxygen, they are on wheelchair, they are carrying them along, and the person who is taking care of themselves is walking around. It is not because those people are more blessed, it's because the people made an effort to take care of themselves. Why are you working money when you cannot, you cannot invest in yourself? Why are you going to buy a dress for $1,000 and put on, a shoe for $900 and put on, when the inside is rotten? Why? Does it make sense? You put it on a sick body just to show somebody. Reason why somebody goes to a party, dresses very well, goes to a party, dance, dance, falls down and die. 
and they say, hey, they don't kill you for village. Nobody don't kill you for village. Nobody. They neglected their system. And somebody kept sounding into them. You can take care of your health. The most important thing is your health. You can. It has been proven. You can take care of your health. It is not something that they are thinking about. Take care of your health. Read about it. Find out is what they are saying true. What this girl is talking about. Is, this, is it true? Find out about it. Yes, Sister Esther. Thank you. Yeah. Read. Find out. Is it true? Yeah, Tekla. Thank you. I saw you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting. Read. Find out for yourself. And take care of yourself. I'm taking care of myself. Honestly. If you listen to me and it makes sense to you, you can join me to take care of yourself. If not, I'm okay. I'm taking care of myself. I'm doing everything in my capacity to take care of myself. Doing my own best. I'm not leaving everything to faith. Before, because if you resign to faith, it's madness. Faith without action is useless. You have to do something. I know that my some, some people will differ with me. Some religious people will differ with me. I'm not religious. But I'm, I'm going to say something that I like them to, to believe or to listen. Some, some of them will tell you, I'm going to pray to God. God is going to help me. Really? He's going to help you? Yeah, he's going to help you through people. He's going to send somebody to talk to you about an opportunity that can help you. He's going to send something that can help you. He's going to direct you to the right place. You are sick and you have been going to one place, taking medications. God is going to direct you to somebody who is going to help you with something that can help you. If you think that he's going to come in the night and operate you, I bet you it's not going to work. That's an illusion. It's an illusion. Those of you who know the Bible more than I do, what, what did he say? Why are my people dying? What did he say? Why, why were people dying? Because he knows that there is something somewhere that you can take and get well. And it, he's the one who provided that thing. He is the one who sent somebody to come and talk to you about it. If you sit and say, no, I'm praying to God. God is going to heal me. I am not going to take any medication. I'm not going to do it. God, believe you me, you're going to die. You will die. But if you take those medications or whatever that has come your way and you believe God, Papa God, you are the one who directed me to take this product. Help me. You are going to be healed. God is going to put in his actions and you'll be healed. But if you have faith and you don't put in action, it is useless. It is useless. I am saying this because one of my friends, I'm not going to call her name, but one of my classmates, who was actually really sick, she had cancer of the breast. And she was programmed for, um, for, for surgery. And she will cry about that pain. She will cry about that pain. And she will share to so many people. She will share on Facebook, please pray for me. I heard about it. And I said, I took upon myself. I said, this is my sister. I'm going to do something. I sent products. I used my money. I bought products and I sent to her. <laughs> she took those products for two weeks. The day that she was going to go for the operation, she was programmed to go on operation on a Monday. On the Friday that she was going to do the last controls before she goes for the operation she went there they did the controls and they didn't see anything the lump that was in her breast like this that was paining that she could not sleep they were going to they did not see anything she had been taking this product for two weeks just two weeks they looked for that lump they did not see the doctors could not believe they called all doctors they could not believe they sent her home they sent her for test 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 upon test they did not see anything today i'm talking about you but you know what I'm talking, why I'm bringing it up? Because my friend told me that I am not going to give all the glory to the products that you sent to me. Because God came in the night and operated me. And these things are spiritual things you don't understand. I said, okay, my dear. I thought that God sent me. The reason why God touched me was because God wanted you to get healed. And that was the reason why God touched me to intervene because you are a child of God. But if God came in the night, 
and operated upon. That's fine. And I left it at that. <laughs> I was going to encourage her to continue the treatment for at least six months so that every every cell that has been affected in her system will be flushed out and repair mechanism is going to repair the new cells and replace but because god because she believes that god came in the night and operated her and that she was not going to give the glory to the product i just left her and i let it be i'm not saying anything more and that's where and that's where i'm talking about if you're a child of god god the days of manna are far gone where people used to sit and manna will fall from heaven and even in those days, I say it all the time. When manna falls from heaven, you will still have to leave your bed, go outside and pick manna to be able to eat. If you don't leave your bed and go outside and pick manna, you will not eat. It means that you have done something. The action of leaving, leaving your house, walking to where it is and picking it up to eat is doing something. It was not going to fall on your bed or on a plate or just open your mouth and let manna fall from it. You will still pick it, break it and put it in your mouth. It's action. You have to put action into every belief that you have. Don't pray for 24-7 and lock yourself in the room. Nothing is going to happen to you. Think about that. So let's open our brains. That's all I was trying to say. Let's open our brains. Let's, let's, let's conceive. Because everything lies here. Everything is in the brain. Everything is in our mind. Nothing is going to come from anywhere else. It's in the brain. If you tell your brain in the morning, you got to get up in the morning and say, Oh, I'm a failure. I don't even know self. Ballon me. I don't even do anything. All you do is you fail, you fail. My dear sister, you have failed. There is nothing that you're going to do that is going to succeed. Nothing. If you keep every day, now someone wants in the day, my auntie doesn't need ever worker. Now, so your auntie will be. You have tuned your brain to failure. And that's the only thing that your, your brain knows. Failure. It's going to adapt to failure. But when you get up every morning and you tell yourself, I'm a child of God. I was designed to win. I was designed to win. I am the head and I'm not the tail. I am going to lead. And in everything that I'm going to do, I'm going to succeed. I am going to be identified everywhere I go because the glory of God is going to be shining on me. And everything that I put my hand on, that thing is going to prosper in the name of Jesus. My dear beloved sister, you will prosper in everything that you do on that day. Whether you like it or not. You have tuned your mind in a positive mindset. You have set it. You may do that thing on that day. It does not give you profit. It does not give you money. But that is something that you are setting in place. That is preparing a future for you. That is make, going to make your future brighter. It's going to make your future greater than you ever thought about. So that is it, is your mindset. If you want to learn new things, you have a mindset of somebody who is going to succeed. If you're stuck in your old ways and you do only the things that you believe, you have failed. You are, not going, to, you are going to be stagnated wherever you are. You are going to be stagnated. So open your mind. Change your mentality. Change your brain. Change your thinking. Change your mindset. Open to learning. Learn new things. Learn everything that comes your way, then you select the good thing because you have the intellectual capacity to select good from bad. You have the intellectual capacity to select the right things from the wrong things. You have the, the brain to choose between what is right and what is wrong. So take care of yourself. Take time. Change your mentality. Adapt to the good things. Look forward. Think positively. Exploit different opportunities. Open your mind. Open your brain and do things that you have never done to achieve results that you have never achieved. And believe you me, if you continue on this trend, you will never fail. You are going to be a success. Thank you so much. If you watch me today, and please share. Yeah, Edna said, yes, so faith goes with work. My dear sister, sound it louder because some people don't know it. Sound it. If you don't put action, you are stagnated. If you don't learn, you are stagnated. Those of us who went to school, we know it though. We know that what you learn in a classroom, when you come to the field, is something different. The application is totally different from what you learn in a classroom. 
So knowledge is not what you learn in the classroom. It's the experience that you gain on the field and how well you use that experience. So open your mind to learning new things. Take care of yourself. There are opportunities out there. Read. Use the social media as widely as possible. It is an opportunity for us not only to take care of our health, but to enrich ourselves because money is good. There's nobody who does not like money. And there's nothing like, oh, my, my family poor. There is nothing. If you set a pace of poverty, everybody's going to be poor. If you set a pace to be rich, you will. You will. You change it. It's your mindset. Don't only say, I'll be rich, and you don't put in any action. But if you say, I'll be rich, and you put in every action that you need, you're going to be a success story. Whether you like it or not. If it's not coming today, it will come tomorrow. As long as you stay consistent, focused. You don't care what people are saying because there are going to be people who are going to mock at you. There are people who are going to laugh at you. There are people who are going to jeer at you. There are people who gossip. There are people who backbite. There are people who hit you or pierce you in your back. But believe you me, you know what? You're not looking back. It doesn't matter what happens on your back. You are looking forward because you know where you're going to. You know your destination. And until you get to that destination, you're not going to stop. For those who can fly, fly to your destination. For those who can run, run to your destination. For those who can walk, walk to your destination. And for those who can crawl, crawl to your destination. No turning back. Thank you so much for sharing this evening with me. I was so happy to be with you. Please share this video to as many people as possible. I'm very, very appreciative of your comments. I'm going to take time to respond to those comments after this. And uh, I am so, so, so glad that you are here to support me. This program, A Space with Ambo, is every Thursday, 5 p.m. And every Saturday, 3 p.m. That is U.S. time, Eastern time. And Cameroon time is every Thursday, 10 p.m. And every Saturday, 8 p.m. Well, like, yeah, that's it. 8 p.m. In Jamaica, I think you're just an hour behind. Is it hour behind us? So you know the time. You have to know how to calculate it from the Eastern time. So thank you so much, my viewers all over the world. I'm so happy to be speaking to you. I hope I impacted somebody's life today. I hope I impacted your life in one way or the other. Uh, that is my joy. That's all I want to do. Impact a life. Change a life. Put a smile on somebody's face. But if we all stay focused, it doesn't matter how long it takes, we are going to get to our destination. Thank you. Love you all. If there is anything you want to tell me, just put it on the comment box. I'll be with you. If you have my personal number, you can get to me. You can WhatsApp me. You can message me on messenger you can call me you can text me and i'll be very elated i'm gonna see you on saturday send your concerns send your comments i'm open to positive criticisms and uh, i hope to make this place better more educative more fruitful to everybody who takes at least any time out of their wonderful schedule or tight schedule to spend with me thank you Oh, Doris, thank you so much. Thank you, my darling sister. Thank you so much. Thank you for spending time with me. Sister Esther, thank you so much. To all my wonderful viewers, I'm happy you were here. Have a blessed day. Thank you, Hyson. Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessed day. And share this video to as many people as possible. And I'll be with you Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Cameroon Time. 2 p.m. Jamaican time. Love you all.